Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this episode, we are checking out the new Sim Brief. They have completely redesigned this thing. I haven't taken any look at it yet and we're gonna walk through everything together. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. All right, guys, so as you all know, or hopefully you all know, um, back, uh, few, gosh, been a while now, uh, what, almost a year now, uh, Navigraph took over Simbrief. They purchased Simbrief and have now, um, you know, uh, been in, con charge, in charge of that. And so what they've done here is they've completely redesigned it, literally gave it a completely new um, interface. I mean, this is this is sim brief here, guys. That we are logged into it now. Let me expand this for you. I just realized what the screen's looking like here. Let's uh, let's blow it up. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so first thing that I really like as you log in with your Navigraph or your Navigraph account name. Um, by the way, you do not have to have a subscription to use SimBrief. Do not mistake SimBrief for Navigraph charts. Now, I'm going to show you some things here today that you do need the subscription for, but uh, do not feel like that is a requirement. You can use SimBrief for free. You, you can create your Navigraph account for free. So uh, just keep that in mind. This particular portion, SimBrief, is not uh, part of the subscription. There are features within SimBrief that you will need a paid subscription for, but the overall flight planning is still free. Okay, so let's go ahead and address that first piece. For example, the ARAC uh, cycle. My ARAC is out of date. This is something that you do need a paid subscription with Navigraph to update. So let's go ahead and let's see how we address this. So it's showing me that it is uh, outdated, but let's go to view ARAC settings. Here we go. Wow, okay, so they kept a lot of the same layout here. 2301 is actually still current. So this may be, oh, all of a sudden now it went to green. Okay, all right. So let's go back to the air. Now it refreshed itself. Okay, fair enough. That'll work. And so that's the first advantage and one of the bigger advantages to uh, the subscription from Navigraph. Obviously the use of charts and all that is fantastic as well. But one of the biggest things is it keeps the ARAC data in SimBrief up to date. And you guys should all know that Microsoft Flight Simulator does a pretty good job of keeping the ARAC data up to date as well. So which means that your flight plan will match what the ARAC routes actually are with inside the simulator or your particular aircraft. And this is true guys, we are using Microsoft Flight Simulator as an example here, but this is the same tool that we would use in P3D, X-Plane 11, X-Plane 12. Uh, SimBrief is very, very helpful here. So the other thing that I really like they have here is a system change log now. These are all the new features that have been added to SimBrief, like, holy crap. Like, this is a lot. And we're not gonna go down this list or anything. I'm not gonna read off and bore things like that. I wanna check it out from a, from a user standpoint. So let's go back to the dashboard. But I really like that they included that. That's a big difference. View saved airframe. So create, let's do create a new airframe because we know it's got my TBM 930. So let's say we were going for a flight in the 737. And let's say we're going to take the 800 up. So there's the 737-700 and there's the 800. So let's do the 800. And it's even got PMDG. Look at this. Economy configuration, Boeing converted freighter. Wow. So this is, this is all very, very nice. I think some of this was here before, but it certainly wasn't this laid out. Like a lot of the UI still very much so looks like SimBrief. Uh, but look at this. We could even edit all this, configure it as we chose. Wow. Gives you everything now. All right. And I don't see like a save button. So I'm guessing it just adds it. Oh, click save airframe to add this airframe to your fleet. Uh, do you guys see save airframe? Copy, change, copy. Oh, save airframe. So let's close this. Save airframe. Cool. 
And then again, if you needed to edit all these numbers, you can. These are all editable fields. So if like if you find that they're not correct or not the way that you want them, you can just edit them out and it's not, you know, and then save the airframe again. And I'm just showing this as an example here. So let's go back to our dashboard. <clears throat> And then we have our flight plans, view flight plan, edit flight plan. So this is all pretty, pretty normal here. Now I do want to look at some of this other stuff before we get rolling here. Support and forums, account support, developer support. So this is just all of your support settings from the account level, it looks like. The SimBrief Downloader. SimBrief Downloader is a lightweight program that runs in the background to text whenever you create a SimBrief flight. This makes it possible to automatically export all of your selected FMS and routes into the proper add-on directories on your computer. Let's look at the, the image here. Actually, you know, I'm just gonna download it anyway and we'll check it out in a minute. Wow. I don't, I don't know if this tool's been around a while. Well, it says September of 2022. I don't remember ever seeing this. So it's still relatively new. I've, I've never checked this one out before. That's kind of cool. So I'm gonna mess around with that. So it looks like you can export your flight plan directly into Microsoft Flight Simulator, X-Plane 11. Um, I know that like X-Plane 11 and even I think, I think PMDG is the same way where you can actually export into a specific directory and load it directly from the CDU. So, but then again, they all of them have SimBrief integration still too. So I, I, I don't know, I guess I could see some benefit to this one. And it's not that it wasn't a cool tool. It's just, you know, things have changed so much. So now let's go through. So again, a lot of the same tools that are up here are down here as well. Weather and no tams. Look at that. All right, let's go into create a new flight. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, so a lot of the same stuff here and it saved my previous information. So let's say we're going to do American Airlines. Actually, no, let's do Southwest Airlines if we're going to fly. And maybe we'll fly this one later today. I haven't flown the 737 in a long, long time. Let's say we're doing 4310, and let's say we're departing from my hometown in Tucson. We're going to, uh, where do we want to go? Not to Phoenix. We can go further than that. Um, definitely not to TNC. Yeah, Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Or right, here, let's do this. Uh, PMDG 737-800. Automatically loads everything else. There's our flight route. I love it. And a lot of this stuff was already here, but this layout is significantly nicer. This is a much better layout. Got all your weight and your weight measurements, our departing runway. Oh, of course I can't fly right now, but the departing runway one, one left. I never get one, one left. I always have to taxi all the way down to two nine or right. And an 11,500 foot runway. That's a long freaking taxi. And it's, we only have one taxiway. So it's like, well, we have more than that, but basically we have one, it's alpha and you taxi all the way down. So just a big, long, straight freaking taxi of two and a half miles. <laughs> and of course the, uh, the jetways and the terminals are basically down at the, at the starting, almost at the starting point of uh, one, one left. So one, one left, you're like, your taxi is like two minutes. If that and I always get stuck with the long one, two nine or right, where I'm taxing for five and a half minutes. Anyway, enough complaining about my my luck with runway selection. But let's see here. All right, so oh, and there's the OFP layout. Lido is the one that I like. Again, your units and measurements. Uh, reserve fuel. Let's set that to 45 minutes for an IFR flight. And a detailed nav log. All the good stuff. All right, so very similar to what we've seen before in the past. And then I'm looking for, where's my generate flight? Generate flight, there it is. This is this is a lot nicer. And I've always been a huge fan of SimBrief, guys. I can't stress enough. This is an amazing tool. Wow, that looks really nice. I really like that. Flight plan downloads, view PDF. Let's see what that looks like now. Is it just gonna do, okay. So does the same PDF that we've seen before? And this is what I always use. I swear by the PDFs. I, I think they're great. Very awesome. I like this though. I mean, the, the font, the new look, it's definitely, definitely changes things a little bit. Now, one of the things that I also like is I want to, so now let's go ahead and see what other kind of options we have here. I know they said there's a dark mode built into it and that is, that is all about me right there. Wow. Look at this websites using the SimBrief API. Look at this stuff. Holy crap. Like you guys understand what I mean by it is used like Crazy. All right, so I I do want to. Ah, is that it? That is it. Oh, that is beautiful. 
Oh, dude. I love dark mode. Dark mode, like, is my thing. Ah, oh, I know it may not be be there for everybody. Uh, you know, it may not be your thing. I love uh, dark mode, though. Although I did realize something. Oh, that's a diver. Our alternate is Los Angeles. Wow, it actually is. I feel like there are a lot of airports that are close to that. Like, isn't there one in San Bernardino? Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Wow, that's one heck of a divert. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Let's go to our weather. Check that out. And you can even type in multiple air or uh, ICA codes. So let's say if we wanted to get, for example, KTUS, and we're going to space KLAS. Let's do a search. Dude. And again, I do think this was here before, but this is such a nicer layout. I mean, you have everything you need here now. This is slick. And it's just like I said, that the layout is beautiful. Oh, remember I was talking as in a previous video, Pilot Edge, check it out. Tells you who your uh, air traffic controller is right now, uh, currently with Pilot Edge. So you know who you're going to be talking to. And uh, you can see what your departure uh, and arrival runway is. Dude. That is sick. That is really awesome. I, I've never noticed the... Uh, and see, I think that's where format comes into a lot. Like I said, some of this stuff may have already been in SimBrief. But you just... I don't notice it. Because I will say that the, the SimBrief UI was very outdated. It was definitely time for an update. It was time for a refresh. And I think they've done a great job here. We've even got our transition altitudes here. Meet our ceiling uh, over 10... Or to 10,000 feet. Visibility. Six miles over 10,000 feet. This is too cool. Departure elevation. We're at 2643 right now. Wow. What is our barrel right now? Where's my altimeter? 3024. Wow. Interesting. Anyway, moving on. Ocean tracks, significant weather charts. Let's just, let's look at one here. Look at that. Gives you a full weather readout. Dude. I've never even seen this before. Like, I've never looked at one of these before. This is very interesting. I, I want to learn this. That is amazing. Upper winds charts. Let's look here. So we know we're... Staying in the U.S. again. Dude. Check that out. I've never seen one of these before. And like I said, this stuff may have been there, but it's just the UI is so much nicer now. It makes it easier to, to poke around, if you will. You can close that now. This is really, really awesome. I'm very impressed with this. Guys, if you are into IFR flights, I highly recommend you check out SimBrief. Even if you're not a part of the Navigraph um, subscription, you can use this tool for free. And this is an incredible, incredible flight planning tool. And the information that is now provided here and very easy to get to is very, very handy. Like I, I highly recommend this. I've sworn by SimBrief for a very, very long time. But now it's just like one of those, like they've just taken this golden bar and turned it into whatever you would value above gold. Because uh, this is this is beautiful. This is a very, very well done job. I'm really impressed with Navigraph. Um, their charts integration with the simulator, uh, the new toolbar charts, the charts eight itself is just absolutely fantastic. And now redoing SimBrief here, this is beautiful. This is an absolutely stunning application. Um, and for a web browser, I mean, they've just, they've hit it all. They've hit it all. 
So let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys are a big fan of SimBrief like I am and tell me what your experiences are with this particular application as you guys start to use it with the new uh, features. And uh, let me know if you guys uh, have any cool tricks, tools, tips, etc. as far as using SimBrief that you'd like to share with the community. As always, guys, stay safe and healthy and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.